Hello, welcome to First Word, where we strive to challenge you in your daily walk with Christ. Following Paul's conversion, he served selflessly proclaiming God's word and the gospel of Jesus Christ in many places. God blessed and many churches were formed because of his ministry. As he faced trial in Rome, he understood that he might soon become a martyr for Jesus Christ. These are the words he wrote to Timothy, For I am already being poured out as a drink offering. The time of my departure is at hand. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not only me, but also to all who have loved his appearing. Paul was faithful throughout his entire ministry. It is sad to see so many who claim to be believers who don't finish or don't finish strong. They get taken captive by the philosophy of the world because they did not heed Paul's warning. It is our prayer that faithfulness like Paul's would be one of the traits of all. Not only was Paul faithful, but he had faith. Even as he potentially faced death, this is what he told Timothy in 2 Timothy 4, verses 16 through 18. At my first offense, no one stood with me, but all forsook me. May it not be charged against them, but... The Lord stood with me and strengthened me so that the message might be preached fully through me and that all the Gentiles might hear. Also, I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion and the Lord will deliver me from every evil work and preserve me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. His faith revealed confidence in the Lord's presence and preservation of him. Though he might see physical death, he was certain of life in the kingdom. Do our life's anxieties or lack of them reveal the same faith that Paul had? Indeed, all who have true faith will find themselves being sanctified and becoming more and more faithful with time. Further testimony of Paul, both to Timothy and the Corinthians, revealed his constant, pure conscience. To Timothy he said, I thank God whom I serve with a pure conscience. And to the Corinthians in 2 Corinthians 1 he stated, For our boasting is this, the testimony of our conscience that we conducted ourselves in the world in simplicity and godly sincerity, not with fleshly wisdom, but by the grace of God and more abundantly toward you. Paul's life had been such he did not violate his conscience before God. Do we have the same clear conscience before God? Thank you for listening to First Word today. May we all learn as Paul to be faithful, constant in our faith, and living lives of pure conscience before God Almighty.